Hey everybody, this is Chris Lightness from MobilitySite.com and GotZoom.com. Been a little quiet around here lately. I wanted to make video number 100 on YouTube for something kind of special, something better than just a video accessory, uh, a video of an accessory or something of that nature. So here's my side by side Zoom 80 versus the iPod Classic 80 video, and um, if you've listened to me talk on any of my videos in the past. You'll know that I don't normally sound like this. I always sound like a redneck, but uh, today I'm a little under the weather and have been since last, well, mid last week. I did podcast number, what, 45 Mobility Site Minute, and I felt like this. So just getting over it, I might have to stop and take a sip of my water here. But uh, <laughs> I'm pretty, um, I, I want to thank everybody for all the comments and questions on all my videos, not just the Zoom ones. There's a lot of questions that have been asked in my. Um, mobility site profile which I didn't even I hate to admit this a hundred videos and I really didn't realize or remember that there were comments there so I really don't look at those very often but I, I plan to go and reply to a few of those because I didn't see them for a long time and there's a lot of them there <laughs> so I'm pleased to get positive reactions from all these videos that we're doing it makes them even funner to do I want to say that I do not consider these videos to be reviews of these devices mostly you know they're just to me unboxings doing a demo most of the time a full review will be written by me or one of the writers over at mobility site with videos that I'm making here embedded into that review as well as pictures and statistics and tests and so forth um, we make mistakes on these I want to apologize I've tried to turn on some devices right out of the box and messed up but you know everything it just shows how easy a device is or how easy it is not you know if I could pull it right out of the box and turn it on I don't want to sit there and prep and take 30 minutes trying to learn a device I've never touched so I appreciate a little uh, a little forgiving on that everybody makes mistakes right so uh, I know y'all don't want to hear me talk for 30 minutes y'all want to see a little bit about this thing so um, what I want to do here is I'm, I'm going to answer some emails from the site and YouTube questions and you know email or emails that were actually sent to me. Um, this is the iPod Classic 80 gig, which just came out shortly after the iPhone. Uh, this is the Zoom 80. Both of them are about the same size, but I want to first tell you that you know the iPod touchers a lot of people say an iPod touch kicks the crap out of blah 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 well you know it's a good device it's a great device the iPhone's a great device but the iPod touch while it is an excellent device it's not a true competition to this the Zoom 80 the iPod classic 80 is more comparable in size features price and obviously in storage size the touch costs quite a bit more well not a whole lot more but for only 8 gig or 16 gig with the iPod touch I mean, you're getting far more storage there and it costs more than I mean this costs less than the than the touch so it's really not a comparable device this is designed to compete with this or at least that's what you would think <laughs> being the same size and also uh, what do you get in the boxes here this is the box for the zoom and that's the box for the iPod classic and basically boxes are about the same size what you get in both of them is basically the devices uh, earbuds, sync cable, and the iPod comes with a little insert f for your existing accessories and whatever. If you buy a Zoom Cradle, it comes with the same little, almost exactly looking. Uh, in fact, here's one right here. It comes with these little inserts for whatever device you have or whatever cradle you have. So, uh, and you get your manuals and books and everything. Uh, one thing to note about the what comes in the box with this Zoom 80 comes some premium earbuds that are similar they're they're not earbuds if you will where you just kinda lay them in your ear like the white iPod ones that you get here they actually provide a seal to give you some excellent bass response and they really take taste they really sound awesome um, the ones that you get with the 80 sound much better than the ones you get with the 4 and the 8 the Zoom Flash ones I side by side with them and my wife is actually taking the, taking the Zoom 80 premium earbuds from me for her iPod Nano. I convinced my daughter to go from the iPod Nano to the, um, in fact this is my daughter's old Nano here, and she gave that one to me in exchange for a pink uh, Zoom 
flash zoom so anyway uh, earbuds great they're not as good as obviously my $250 all spent ears but they are quite well um, so I'm gonna grade earbuds I'm gonna give that one to the uh, iPod or the Zoom 80 here so uh, price they both run about 250 bucks if you can find this one right now um, we're not going to discuss why we can't find them some people think there's a conspiracy some people think they just didn't ex or they say they just didn't expect for the demand uh, I actually bought three of them within the week first week so I, I got real lucky there so size comparisons they're about the same uh, as you can see here the uh, there's a lot of good pictures I've put in the photo gallery it got zoom to give you some real detailed photos um, the one thing the zoom 80 is just a slight bit taller and a slight bit thinner um, a couple things to say about that though the uh, iPod Classic is exactly 2.2 2, 2 inches shorter and 0.1 inches thick, thinner than the Zoom 2 so I mean if you want to go purely on size you have to go with the iPod Classic here but one thing we could say and this has got more to do with design than anything what do you notice there when I'm flicking around there what's the big difference between the backs of these no fingerprints on this one wonderful love that um, looking at the actual devices on the sides and everything they're about the same uh, the iPod has its own proprietary sync port we got the same on the zoom here on these sides nothing nothing here we both have lock switches pink for the zoom orange for the iPod both have the um, the uh, Earphone connector at the same place, nothing there. And uh, so basically, physically, we've got about the same device, just a little smaller here. Okay, on the front of these, as you can see here, the uh, controls, well, let's start with the screen. As you can see there, that screen is so much different between the two devices. It looks like almost half the size of that one. The uh, actual screen sizes, the uh, they're both 320 by 240 screen resolution which means that by if you take the same video on both of them by default the iPod is going to look crisper but the pictures is the same but you know crisper on a smaller screen so really I kinda like the bigger screen regardless of the resolution on the zoom uh, the zoom has a 3.2 inch diagonal screen where this is a 2.5 inch diagonal and it's taking you know that diagonal versus that diagonal there so um, on the controls the zoom 80 has this zoom pad which as you can see you can scroll your fingers like that or you can go right to left or you can actually click them in fact if you scroll down to the bottom of a menu using this you can't go down and around but if you use that button you can go down and around so you got a play pause button there and a back button there so I can navigate down into videos I actually I've only got one video on there so let's do music and I can scroll between the different you know whatever's uh, we're gonna find our uh, actual songs so I can scroll down real fast like that or I can scroll real fast you know um, but you know to use your back button just bam bam so anyway so that, there's your differences on the navigation and on here you know obviously you've got what Ryan Block at Engadget dubs is the the thumb uh, thumb dislocating <laughs> thumb uh, scroll wheel here but you get it, it's a simple navigation if you're used to it and it uses some touch too so I mean there's nothing wrong with this navigation you don't have a back and whatever button you have to use your, your combination of buttons there and I'm not here to train you on this because if you really care you probably already know all about this probably more than me anyway uh, this is probably like the seventh or eighth iPod I've got and I'm still using this one here too which is not the touch it's the iPhone I don't actually use it as a daily driver, I just use it for testing and so forth. But anyway, so um, let's get a little into the actual, before I start, let me ask, answer a couple general questions that have been asked. Uh, one of them was, are there wallpapers still in there? Because I guess one of the videos I did, it looked like, if you go into music and, you know, you see, you can't really see the wallpaper there because it kind of blocks it out but on the main screen here as you can see I've got this got zoom wallpaper and go in here and pictures and by the way I've got many many pictures here I got 5,000 in this one folder here and here I can demonstrate this too I'm um, here I can go side to side by scrolling on that 
zoom pad there. But I can go find me a picture. Let's get this little sand disk picture here. Click on there. Apply as background. And that's it. Background changed. So the background is still there. See? I don't like that background, so I'm going to change that in a couple minutes. But anyway, um, so yes, the backgrounds are still there. Uh, another question. Does the does it, does the zoom actually come with a case? No, it does not. Uh, the zoom 30 did, but the zoom 8 four, 4s, 8s, and 80s do not have a case that comes in the box. Me personally, I don't care to have a case because I'm going to buy something aftermarket anyway. But some people really liked that case. Uh, in fact, um, Zach at Zoom Life in Australia seemed to like it so much that he's going to actually try to create his own to match the Zoom 31. Um, Somebody asked, how do you delete preloaded content from the device? In order to delete it, you can go in when you sync it into the software. It'll come up and it'll show you your device, your marketplace, whatever, uh, in your collection. You want to click on your collection tab and delete it there for it to go away for good. Uh, somebody had mentioned that they deleted it off their device, but it didn't take, and every time it would sync, it come back, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, um, let's get... Uh, one more thing, uh, like I said, it doesn't come with a case, get rid of preloaded content. I'm trying to think what else was asked. Uh, Zoom Customs, the 80 is now on ZoomOriginals.com. You can get the custom graphics on the back with uh, you know three up to three lines of uh, custom text and the art from the different collections, the tattoo series and the art collection. So uh, let's get right into it.